Hello there, and as usual, I'm Aaron from Last Stand Gamers, and welcome. So Thursday's come about once again, and we've got a very interesting patch. Now, I'm joined here by my good friend, and we're going to be showing you some of the functions. Now, as you can see, there's a red name above his head. Now, it's of course very fitting to his name, but we might want to add him to a friendly sort of faction. And that's what it's all about. We've now got factions in the game. So if we bring it up with K, we can actually go across, we can see the factions tab, and we can actually create our own faction. Now, this is really exciting because we can do loads of stuff with it. So let's build a faction. We'll have the tag as LSG. And we'll have the, the name as LSG Empire, let's do it for short. And we'll have this as uh, space. And we'll have this one as hello. So we can do like basically private messages to people that join our group. Now, as you can see, our group is actually here now. We have the public message that everyone can see, and we have the private message that's only visible to members. So once people have joined our group, we can give them a nice greeting message and tell them where our secret stash weapons is. So if my assistant joins the group, we can actually see he's got an applicant. So we can either accept or deny the applicant or basically just never respond to it. So we can accept the applicant through, and it says, are you sure you'd like to accept him into your faction? And we've accepted him now. So he's into the faction, and he now has the ability to view the private tab. And we can also, if we wish, promote him or depromote him. So let's actually bring off, and we can see his name's gone to green. So that means he is actually part of our faction. So if we move back over to the factions tab and bring up our faction once again, we can promote him. So we're going to promote him up to leader. Now he has the ability to actually edit the settings of the group and kick other leaders and members. But not us, because we are the founder, we are the almighty sort of one that has created this group. Now, this is where it gets quite interesting, because with all these abilities, it means that you can actually have faction-based battles, and so on. But anyway, let's move on to joining and looking at other factions. So let's answer the questions you're probably wondering about. We have a door here, we have a hostile astronaut, can he get through the door? That's probably what we're all wondering. Why, why don't you go and try it? Yes, he can. That's because this door actually has a new setting. Well, all blocks actually have a new setting. So if we actually head over here, we close the door on up, we press K, and we can actually see the door has an owner. So it's currently set to nobody, so I'm going to claim this door for myself. Now, you can see you can set it to me, or I can set the owner to someone else. So I'm going to set it to me, and I'm going to share this with no one. I have the option to share it with my faction, and I can share it with all if I wish. So what I'm going to do is try and let my enemy here open up that door. So he's got no option at the moment, but he does have an alternative method. He can still grind that block down and gain access to it that way. Now, if you try to break into a block, you don't need to completely destroy the whole block itself. You just need to grind it down to the computer layer or the blue halfway mark. And from that stage, that will basically allow you to reconstruct the door and technically hack into it because the computers have some sort of biometric scanner that allows you to basically lock in, open and close up the door. You can also see the construction method for the door has considerably changed, as well as the speed of the grinding at this stage. So we can see we're losing the construction components, we're losing the interior plates and we're nearly below that mark. So the door is now open for him to go in, but if he welds that back up, he can actually set the ownership to himself, so just, oh, just weld it up a little bit. That's fine. Now access the control panel and lock me out. So we can see here he's locked it. Let's head over to the panel. And you can see we've got access denied, so we can't get in through that door unless we did the same process as him and grinded it back down and took control over the object. So this works with a whole variety of items as well. So let's get down to the dirty part of factions, the eliminating of the factions, the takeovers, and the assassinations. So if we press K and we bring up the factions menu, we can see these three factions here. So we have us, the LSG Empire, we have the Rebel Alliance, and we have the only faction. So if we look here, we can see that the Rebel Alliance only has one member. And that's because uh, my troops have taken out the rest of his members, and we've got him captured here back at the station. And to wipe this faction off the map, we first need to eliminate the med bays that we've already done, and we need to eliminate 
the founder himself or one of the all the leaders so no one else can join back into that faction and all their progress will be lost so let's get this over with so the deed has been done as his body falls off the side and if we go back to the factions menu we can see the rebel alliance it still has him in but he's not got anywhere to respawn so once he refreshes his page He's going to be out of that faction and he's going to have no way of joining back. Just like the only other faction, he's going to be abandoned. He might even try to stick an application in, but since there's no one there to accept it, he's not going to be able to get the faction back into his own hands. So we're over here in the medical room because factions also plays a part in this. So if we go over and press K, we can actually see that I'm the owner of this medical bay. And I have some different options to share it with. So number one, I can send it to another player, gift it to someone. Or I have the option of sharing it with my faction or share it with all. Now, sharing it with all is like sharing a bathroom with people. You, you just don't really want to do it. Especially when someone's in the shower and one's on the toilet. It's just not going to work. And that comment made no sense at all. But anyway, moving on to that. My assistant here is going to grind me to death. And I'm going to show you the respawn options. So we have the standard four second respawn time. And now we're presented with this very interesting menu. So we have the different options here. We have a respawn ship. So if you choose this option, basically all your stats are going to be wiped. Every single block you've placed that's been set to your name is going to be wiped to no one. And they can claim your creation, claim your ship or whatever you've lost. Otherwise, we have the medical rooms here that seem to be a much safer option. And you can see the owner here as well. Nobody, so this is just a free one. It could be a good way of recruiting people into your group. If you've got a free med bay where everyone can respawn, it's going to make people feel a lot safer. And they might stop by and check out what you have to offer. So let's respawn in the room where I am. But as you can see, it's gone red. Now we've popped back into place. And we are alive. There's our corpse. We could reloot it. And that is pretty much it on the faction respawn. Now, even though this is one massive station, not all the blocks on it are, of course, my own. You can actually share out the items in each block. You can set different ownerships to different things. But if you're flying a large ship or you need the majority of things, such as the power, the power, for instance, doesn't make any difference. Whatever source of power is powered up will transit all the way through the station and power everything that is on. It does not need an owner in that way to travel through another block. So here I've got a simple container got one or two items that I've placed in it we've got some basic supplies and I'm gonna set it to different settings so it works just like the turrets and the doorway we have the owner options and we can also share it so let's just set it to me so if I set that crate to me he has no access at all to that crate he can can't get the items at all and that works vice versa so if, say for instance I give him control I have no access to it now so access is denied. So this could work really well for trading. You could probably pull up with a trade crate like this. And he say he doesn't want to pay you for the resources and your time. The crate's locked. You've got all the resources safe inside it. Now pretend you do pay him. And he opens it up for you. So if he opens up my crate I can have access back to it once again. So here we have. We have access to my tools and so on. I can also share that with factions and other people depending on the situation. Very handy indeed. Now, not only did they add all these factions and amazing sort of gizmos, they also added this ability, something that we've been requesting for quite a while. So, we've copied and pasted the ship as usual, but now we have the options to rotate, twist, horizontal, spin, and place this pretty much everywhere. So, if we're placing a ship over there in a hangar, we can line it up and just pop it in in creative mode. Obviously, this is not a survival option. Now, the second thing we want to take a look at is the actual beacon itself. So if we grab a beacon out of here, like so, and we can access it, you can see it's popped up beacon 2 and it's green showing it's our owned item when it's part of our faction. And we move down to the control panel and we select the beacon from the option. So we need to first find it. So where or where may this beacon be? And there it is. So we have this broadcast radius so we can actually see how far the beacon's broadcasting its signal. So obviously we don't want everyone in the whole galaxy to actually find out where our base is. Maybe it's just in case our pedestrians or our people get lost. So we only need it on maybe 300, 400 meters away from the base or maybe while we're mining, we can stick it up to 500, 600, maybe 700 meters just to guide our people back 
would not attract any unnecessary attention. So factions and today's patch has really brought a lot to the table. My question is, what will we do with them? Now we've all got all these abilities, we've got the multiplayer, we've got this survival sort of feeling. This game is really coming together, really interesting. And if you want to keep up with my videos, keep up with the channel and so on, the Facebook page is down in the description and the Steam link to the Steam group where I regularly post the updates on my videos and often just give you some of my casual feedback on the situation as it develops. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.